Last episode was kind of filler, not really. It was still canon. It was, you know, Tosaka Rin saving the kids and a little bit more Kadia and Aoi stuff, which is sad, but it is what it is. The episode before that, Ryder and Waver found the hidden base of Caster and Ryunosuke. Blew that shit up. I kind of wanted to do his war crime going as he just, you know, burns up all the corpses, but it is what it is. And what else is going on? A little bit of back and forth between obviously Saber and Kiritsuku, right? Also, Solawi being the new master of Lancer and Kaneth just being cucked as usual. And that's pretty much it. Let's begin today's reaction. This is our mansion after it got attacked by Kaneth. Every time I did detect something, Ryder's coming. And the war cry. Yeah. Bro, just parking your car in our house? Yo. <laughs> like, he didn't break the door though, right? I think Kaneth busted all this shit up. But it is funny to think that Ryder just showed up, just parked his fucking cherry by busting the front door open and parked inside the house. Yeah, just visiting? They're just here for fun. Have fun. That's all liquor? Right. Is Saber gonna do a cake stand? I would love to see a heroic spirit do one. Alright, well, let's drink. That is so barbaric. Just smashes it with his hand. You want some too? Alright. Um, Ryder doesn't want people to die. How oh, thank you. I don't know, just serving alcohol through this thing is just... I don't know, just out of a fucking barrel, he smashes it with this bare fist. Just like the most barbaric spoon thing too. Like a ladle. I don't know, you think people will just simply submit? Katia will definitely not. No, other people's egos and their pride will not let them submit unless there's an unstoppable power that they know themselves is pointless. But for a person like Katia, even if it's pointless, they're already gonna die. So why not just fucking go at it? Drank it all in one gulp. So that's it. First, I want to I mean, listen. If we're gonna be comparing ranks based on titles. You two already lose. Because you're a king of something. King of conquerors, king of knights. Gilgamesh is the king of kings. It's unfair unless you call yourself a king slayer. Grail dialogue. <laughs> Grail yap session. Alright, let's have a debate to see who is more worthy. What? What? He, my man just showed up. He, he, did his pride from hearing ranks, king of kings, king of knights shit, just make him show up? Huh. What are you doing here, bro? I saw him in town, so I figure I might as well invite him. <laughs> okay, so... Ryder actually invited Gilgamesh. I wonder what Gilgamesh was doing in town. Does he go around raising up girls? I don't know. Because he seems to be pretty adaptable to the modern times too. <laughs> Kings. Chill, bro. His mere presence made Waver step back and trip on his ass. Will he drink out of the same ladle, though? I doubt it. Really? Wow. 
I thought he'd be like, get that shit out of there, and he would summon his own like golden spoon thing and like cup it himself. Alright, What's a true drink, bro? Let's see it. Is he gonna summon expensive wine bottles from the Tosaka wine cellar? Oh shit, look at that. Golden. Aww. You're here to party! Alright, Gilgamesh is down to just drink and have fun too. He, got, he, got, he brought the good shit too. Okay, I thought that he might have brought some like extra liquor from like the Tosaka place because he always had so many empty like liquor bottles on the ground, but this is some special shit. Is this a noble phantasm? It's a noble phantasm tier liquor. ID still on guard. <laughs> ID and waiver. Alright, how is it? It is that good. I have better liquor? That already proves that I am better than any one of you kings. Hmm, what is Gilgamesh He probably just thinks that the grail should just belong to him and that it should just by default be in his treasury because he is the king of the kings. He's entitled to it. <laughs> He lost count of the number of he has. How can you steal something that you don't own? What? I mean, his entire thing is literally like, alright, like, I own everything. Even if I don't have it, the mere fact that I'm a king of kings means that I'm entitled to everything. So you should just give it to me. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Do that, Gana. Nantuna, Kukono Will Ryder be tempted by the liquor? No, he has his own pride as a king of conquerors. There's no way that he submits. You know be hilarious to see? Gilgamesh enter like a luxury department store with like luxury brand clothing and he, some he sees something he wants. And he just sees it, and he's like, how dare you? How dare you have this? This is mine. And then the people working there is like, sir? And he just takes it and leaves. And it's like, yep, it belongs to me. It is an abomination that you have the audacity to even have this selling in this department store. It should already be my treasury. You've already stole that from me. Like the level of gaslight, the level of entitlement is on another level. <laughs> Yeah, you're alone. Ryder seems to just be fine with it. Okay. Name revealed. Name revealed. Because he's the king of kings. You can't debate this guy. Because he just says, I create all this shit. Fuck you. I guess so. No more debates. Right. So it would be like rude to not drink all of this shit up. I thought that Ryder was like trying to 
get a free nice drink while you know the, the the negotiations fell through. I thought he just wanted to just like have an excuse to drink this shit. But Gilgamesh is like, nah, man. Do you think lightly of this wine that I let you have? My lord, thank you. Yo, Saber gonna say something? Saber hasn't said shit yet. Yeah, because he's a conqueror. Because he wants to. What? True incarnation? What we're talking about. Mm. True incarnation. As in, he doesn't want to be a heroic spirit. He wants to live again and have the chance to conquer this modern world, is his goal. Alright. Okay. That's small? Is it small? Gilgamesh's wish is that he's just entitled to the grail and it should just belong in his treasury. Iskander is saying, I want to be reincarnated and literally conquer the world again. Doesn't his conquest seem way more grand than Gilgamesh's entitlement? I don't know. I mean, we have seen time after time. Funny moment where Ryder like orders off of Amazon, he wants pants, he got a new shirt. He gets along, he adapts to the modern world really well, so like, I could see him doing that. Of all the um, amount of like ass fan service in this show, it's Waver. Waver has the highest count of ass shots. Why? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> yeah. Chill. <laughs> Saber, you gonna say something? All right. The woman is speaking. Actually, no, she's King Artoria. All right, what's she gonna say? She's been quiet the entire time. Challenge our worldview philosophy on what a king is supposed to be. Restore riches. What was it again? But what does that mean? Britain's fate of destruction. She's referring to the past Britain when that might have happened. But it is the modern era right now. If she wished for that, then I guess in the past, that destruction would have never happened. And therefore, the future will be rewritten. It's like a different timeline being saved because they would have no impact in this current world. Right? I'm confused. Rider has a trump card more powerful than his Gordius wheel. Gordius wheel is his chariot, right? The, the lightning chariot that just runs over everything. Yeah, he hasn't shown us his noble phantasm yet. Oh no, Waver. Alright. They want to test it. You gonna do it, Kire? Alright, we're going in. All the assassins. How many? Hundreds? Gamba time. Okay. How does that work? A command spell can override the whims of a servant. Even Gilgamesh can back off. But when you say just win, don't you think that's kind of like an unreasonable command? Like, like, if, that, if it's that simple, all you have to do is say, Hey, I use my command spell. Win the Holy Grail for me today. 
it's not as if they're just going to be able to do it, but interesting. It sounds like it. So, can anyone give me a history lesson in what happened to Britain? Back in the past, there was a great disaster. I am very ignorant with world history. Um, fucking geopolitics, just locations around the world. I got no idea, bro. What happened to Britain in the past that Saber is trying to prevent? Is that an actual real event? Is she capping? Is, is this just made up for the sake of fate? Because no one show like this. You would think that it's grounded in actual history and lore. I have no clue, so... Alright. They got fucked up by Vikings, then Rome, then France. Is that the great disaster? <laughs> they just got pillaged by a bunch of different factions. Battle of Camelot, Mordred betrayal, King Arthur dies. These are actual real, real events, huh? Okay. その<笑><笑> <laughs> I mean, so what, what is it? Saber wants to redo her past, but Ryder is now saying, well, that implies that you regret your marks on history and a true king would never be like that? Is that the idea? I feel bad for Saber. And Ryder's getting really serious too. Gilgamesh is just laughing his ass off. Ryder is locked in. I think they're about to roast her. The king does not sacrifice. It is his subject that she sacrificed himself for the king. It's a different philosophy of ruling where Saber is for the people. But Ryder is saying, no, 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 it should be for the king from the people. <laughs> Pirate? <laughs> what do you think conqueror means? Those are the words of a tyrant. Okay. We're not doing democracy here. We're, we're literally trying to conquer the world, pillage shit, and unite everything under the Iron Fist. Exactly. Exactly. The king can no longer... I don't know how I feel about that. Because, like, the clash of ideals right now is if you are a king, you should never regret anything that you've done. Your wish is implying that you regret your actions even if you made mistakes and that is a failure for a king. But that's kind of easy to say in hindsight. It's like this absolute argument of you should never be able to regret it. Which implies that you can still fuck up and you're just justified because that's what a king is? I'm not too sure. <laughs> No regrets, I guess. Okay. 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 Always move forward. Don't dawn on the past too much. Even if that shit fucked up. Yes, I acknowledge it. Those are my failures. But I will never look back. Mm. And then like, the other people involved in those actions. What about their dreams and ambitions and goals? And therefore, like, you can't turn back. Okay, okay. Yes. I feel like a king would define what is just. It feels like 
King Arthur is not really ruling, but being ruled under these different parameters like laws and regulations and different philosophies, like the ideals of a king and a ruler here is completely different. Fundamental difference. It does feel selfish, and what and like what Ryder doing is, does feel selfish. If you think about how you're not supposed to have any regrets, you just fucking conquer, fuck everything else. You do it for yourself, not for the people. Saber is the exact opposite. So that does look selfless, but at the same time. Is there a way to justify what Ryder is doing is selfless too? I don't know. Is it wrong to be selfish? For your own benefit? You're a king. You're king of conquerors. Are you supposed to be fair and just? Aren't you supposed to take what you want for your own benefit? It's a fundamental difference in what type of ruler there are. There's multiple ways of ruling, right? What Saber's doing, they're both rulers. Well, that's not true. It's a saber and a rider. There's an actual fucking ruler class in the FGO. But it's like different ways of ruling. Damn. She calls a, he calls a figurehead. A king with greed, without greed is even worse than a figurehead. Was King Arthur a figurehead? Someone without their own ideals? Someone without their own motivations? Just being bound to just saving Britain, even though that's what they might never have wanted? I, I don't know. Yeah. Probably. A cock. Dramatic winds. Hmm. And why the flame of wanting to be like the king can burn the hearts of his I mean, what he's saying seems, it makes sense. But I've also seen multiple examples where a king that is so bound by his own greed does not enc encourage or inspires his, you know, people. And they don't even want that shit. Because, like, I get what he's saying, you know? I understand that a king is supposed to be exemplifying everything, you know? But at the same time, I've also seen those kind of examples where the people do turn on them. And for Saber too, I don't know, it's just like these extreme examples. I'm not completely sure if I agree with this take, but it's making it sound like King Arthur was actually a cook. Yes, I don't know. Based on Ryder and what he's saying, like I have no understanding what King Arthur was like. But it sounds like he might have been a figurehead, a king without any greed, bound to be a servant to his people. That to Ryder is not what a king is. You should be the one pointing the way. Right now, back in the past with King Arthur, it sounds like the people are pointing the way and the king is simply trying to appease the people and protect them. But Ryder is saying, no, the king defines what is good, what is bad. You follow me. You should be inspired by me. I think these are absolutes though, right? I, I think everyone is speaking of their own absolute ideals and there's probably some truths and falses riddled in to each of their own visions, which led them to the point they are. They all failed at the end of the day, right? How can you say that like your ideology is just? How can you say that it's the objective best way to do something? There's different ways of doing things. <laughs> キドの誉れたる王よ。陸に救い神民を救済したやもしれぬ。だがな、だが、それを知らぬ貴様ではない。It's this psychoanalysis from Ryder to Saber, like, I have no understanding of the history, but based on, like, 
the imagery of the backstory of what happened, Saber alone, just by a, just like a mountain of fucking corpses. Sounds like she was just chasing her pretty little ideals, but never show them what a king should be, how you should lead them. <laughs> That is way too raw. You're but a little girl bound by the false idol of a king who serves others but not himself. A king should be the king should be the one ruling, doing things for themselves and leading the servants rather than the other way around. This is like and Saber's like having like a panic attack through this like psychoanalysis. Dude, Ryder, holy shit, he is just piercing her soul. I mean, it seems like what he said is true to her, man. She got no support. Look at that. You got any retorts? No. <laughs> just Saber pouring her heart out. Ryder just like armchair fucking psychologist destroying her with facts and logic. Gilgamesh just about to call her Zashu. <laughs> This guy, bro. This guy. <laughs> Am I reading that correctly? Huh? Deflowered in bed, huh? For the first time, huh? <laughs> what the hell, Gilgamesh? Did you have to say that? With consent, I hope. With consent. <laughs> Assassins. The party's crashed. Asashi. Asashi. All of them. No. He knew immediately. We hide the shadows to hunt. The shadows. He's still drinking. Can they drink too? Really? I don't, I don't think they're here to listen. I think they're here to win at all costs. Now, nah, the disrespect. Oh, my God, they mock us. And I'll spill your blood. All right, armor up. Let's go. Henshin time. <laughs> Look at that aura. Yeah, transform. <laughs> Must the king be alone in his superiority? Well, to Ryder's definition of what a king is, it sounds like the king leads the way. The king is the one that inspires others by being so greedy, so powerful, so benevolent. So everything. He just goes hard at it. So in that sense, does not mean there can only be one. In his superiority sounds like, can there be someone else rivaling a king? No. There is a supreme conqueror and nothing else, and he leads the people, and not the other way around. So, no. Hmm? Are we gonna see a noble phantasm? Is he about to drop a noble phantasm? Is this a reality marble? Does this count as a reality marble? Like, it looks like a domain expansion. It looks like he's in, like, everyone is in his domain. So, this is a reality marble. And Kiritsugu is basically internal and he does some shit with time alter stuff, but okay. Okay. 
What's his power then? <laughs> like, like, in a reality marble, do you just, like, control everything? Like, a domain expansion is very powerful because it invites people to your domain where a hit is instant hit. It, it, it will land, but, like, in here, what does this desert shit help him with? <laughs> Understood. Should a king be alone in his superiority? The question I understood that problem statement as, should the king be alone by ruling? No, but it could also be interpreted as this power right now, this reality marble. It is due to all the battles of people that he fought with and fought against and every one of them, right? They all exist within the hearts of all of us. So this reality marble literally brings forth everyone that he's fought before and with. Seems like it. <laughs> These are probably such important characters that I have no clue who they are. I don't know, they look like they have like really important designs. This honestly kind of looks like older Waver, not really. Maybe just the hairstyle. The name. Okay. Assassin is cooked. I'm like, hey, oh, there's so many assassins. What are we gonna do? Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. The domain expansion, the noble phantasm. Literally every single one of these dudes are servants. <laughs> now, could this be Gilgamesh? I don't know how many weapons he has in his treasury, you know? Like, this seems very powerful. But Gilgamesh, you know, his, he has inf seemingly infinite amount of like noble phantasm that he just shoots out out of his gates of Babylon, so I don't know. Horse. He's so masculine. <laughs> I see. The king does not stand alone in superior. He collects everyone's envy. His will equals all the followers combined because he just represents so much of Giga Chat energy that everyone else also wants to be that way. Everything is combined together. We are not alone. What are we going to do? Run, run them down? They're like, how do you get out of a d d reality marble? Because, like, in Jujutsu Kaisen, there's at least a counter, right? You open up a simple domain and suddenly the attacks don't fucking, like, automatically hit. Are the assassins just bound to this power until it's over? Like, they can't do anything. There's nothing you can do to escape. You have been invited to a reality marble. Good luck. <laughs> I think she already gave up. <laughs> what about the command spell, <laughs> dude? Tokyo me made Kiri waste another command spell. I think that's the first command spell he's used. But like, goddamn, that command spell was so fucking useless. Like, I was getting hyped to think like, what's gonna happen if you tell a servant to like win no matter at what cost? Like, it doesn't fucking change anything. <laughs> The worst part is that was the hottest assassin too, right? Of all the assassins, this girl assassin, she was probably the hottest one, and now she's dead. Yeah, fuck me. Soundtrack. Now, what does Gilgamesh think? Gilgamesh is giving the biggest stank side eye right now. Does he respect Ryder Iskander right now? Does he consider him an equal? Probably not. 
he's probably thinking a bunch of Zashus, bro. Fuck them all. I got my gates of Babylon. But for Saber, the shadow casted over her eyes. Wonder if she's realizing that, hmm, maybe I should be more like Ryder. Type moon, type moon. And we're back to drinking. <laughs> Idy and Waver look exhausted. Does it take a lot of energy out of you? Like, what the hell is that? Like, Idy didn't do anything there. It looks like she just got beaten by that noble phantasm. I guess it was just that OP. She's just like the pure aura of men and their testosterone. It's too much. Wow. They are just eating Saber alive, huh? And I wonder if she's gonna change her mentality about how to rule. If that might even impact, like, the Kiritsuku Saber relationship, I don't know. But it's looking really like there was only two kings here. And Saber was simply a child, a little girl chasing after her ideals. Ooh. Damn. And like, I don't even know if he's like actually right about this. Because again, everyone has their extreme philosophies and ideals, and that's not the only way to rule. But it, the show right now definitely does make it seem like the writer's philosophy is the one that comes out on top, and Saber did is just not a ruler, not a king. <laughs> Bye bye. This is awkward. <laughs> I would have preferred if Gilgamesh left first and then Ryder. Now what? <laughs> What's he gonna say? <laughs> this is gonna be weird. Oh? Really? Those are not words of encouragement. He just said, I want to see you suffer more and more. So you keep suffering, keep doing your thing, and I'm going to laugh at you, Zashu. <laughs> Worthy of my love. I mean, these are pretty important. I, if, if Gilgamesh is saying that, I guess that means that we've earned some modicum of respect from him by suffering. <laughs> okay. <laughs> His laugh, man. Well, now what, Saber? Is that Knight Mordred or someone else? Hmm. Now it's looking like what Saber, what Ryder said. It's looking like Saber's really doubting. And they're knights at the round table stuff, right? So, hmm. Saber got cooked, man. She was a fraud. And that's today's episode. The Grail Dialogue. And I'm still a little conflicted on like the world view of how a king should be. And I think that at the end of the day, not one person that's objectively correct. But based on Saber's lore and Ryder's just armchair psychology, just dissecting Saber apart, it does feel like the show has presented an example case where Saber is in the wrong. And Ryder's like philosophy of being a king of conquerors, that's how you should rule. Somebody that leads the people and not the other way around. The people simply exist to serve you, but not in a maniacal way where the emperor just lives in such lavish luxury while the people struggle. No, the people should be inspired by your giga chadness. And by doing so, everyone's wills combined. We are now standing on an equal stage as superiors. That's kind of like what Ryder's philosophy is. So, damn. I'm not really sure what I can say to play some defense for Saber. It's just looking like Saber got cooked. She's just a little child, a little girl that doesn't know what she's doing and let the people down simply due to her ideals and <laughs> Gilgamesh. <laughs> he's, he's just here for the content. Gilgamesh don't care.
He's like, yeah, keep doing your shit, bro. <laughs> Cry more. I'm gonna laugh at you. You're worthy a little bit more of my respect, though. Bye-bye. <laughs> Zashu. And that's pretty much it. We saw Riders Double Phantasm. It's looking like all the assassins are cleared out. Tokiomi just fucking wasted Kirei's another command spell and all the servants. But I guess their spies are gone now, huh? Like, they no, they long, they, no, they no longer have vision. So, another L by Tokiomi. And Saber, too, man. Wonder how this is going to impact her. Like mentality and a relationship with Kiritsuko 2 moving forward. I don't fucking know. That's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.